So this is an example of the Nurikabe puzzle solution. So I'm starting off cornering off every one and every space in between uh, every two kind of adjacent numbers because they kind of the black has they can't be uh, touching. Then I try to get another rule that I do is I try to get all the black out and what that means is all the black has to be continuous so for the black to if a black has only one spot like that top one there that I just clicked that one that, that was the only room for the black to get out kind of thing and then every one has to be surrounded of course every once see like that like surround the one there surround the one and get the black out and try to separate the ones and the twos and everything so any two adjacent numbers are diagonally they have to get separated because a white dot can't be there and then I'm getting so that, that black right under the six up top excuse the truck uh, the black right under the six up, up top not where I am now but up top the only place it can get out is to go to the right so when I eventually do notice it currently I'm all just doing all the ones down here and see like that uh, the ones that I just did there's another one there's a black one that can only go up and it's in between three ones and then of course every island uh, that's complete that I know is I surround it all with blacks because it can't touch any other island that's pretty obvious like see that one that I just clicked that was the uh, the black has to get out what I call so it has to escape um, and at first when you first launch up a puzzle what I find is you I go very quickly for all the obvious uh, kind of blacks everywhere where it's absolutely obvious that something has to be separated or something is a one or something is just a small island of size two it's very obvious and it's very quick to do but then as you start running out of obvious ones you have to start kind of thinking okay where can so a trick I like to do is where can a particular number reach if a particular cell can't be reached by any island at all that cells a black cell if a particular island can only go one way like there's a three uh, to kind of in the middle to the leftish currently that can only go up and I just haven't gotten to it yet in this video but it can only go up and so at the moment this isn't live but I'm, I was thinking what I was doing and also the last rule of course is the no pools so no two by two black pools and there's pretty much in the middle of the screen there's a two right now and underneath the two I'm not I'm not doing it yet but underneath the two there's a uh, kind of a, a three if that if the square underneath the, th the two was black it would be a two by two pool so Anytime that you've got like a solid corner, what I like to call them, I like to call them solid corners. Like, see, I'm about to, uh, I didn't spot it. Uh, like that one there that I just did, that was a solid corner, and it has to be an, an island because it can't be a two by two pool. So, tricks like that. All of these, again, the black. There's another technique that I'll show you guys that's called the squinty eye technique. I'll make a video to illustrate it. Uh, just a short example, but it what it is is if you kind of close one eye I like to close my left and just squint your eyes not squint like kind of focus your eyes So as if you were crossing your eyes as if they were both open, but they're not both open It's just like close your left and then or you can uh, Cross your eyes quite significantly so that everything goes blurry and then close one eye what you start seeing is instead of the numbers and the dots and the individual kind of sharp edges everything starts to blur and you can very easily see again I can't do it on the screen without adding a blur effect which I'll try to do in another video but everything goes like if you just try it right now close one eye crisscross your eyes or just kinda of focus closer uh, if you will and you will see that all the islands that are currently chunked together they're very easy to see what's touching and what's not touching and in this way especially if you can quickly focus in and out you can see the only points where a black island can physically escape and then so for instance uh, right now there are none but there's a good example is the island to the top not the top right but the the one that's currently like above the six 
and there I just connected it with the rightmost one and if you can again crisscross your eyes so you can focus and unfocus very very quickly you can see and there I'm about to finish so there's a, an island ta-da done so that was just a sample solution I'm planning to make a solver of, of a very unique type uh, so stay tuned for that